Hello, welcome to Sean and Stephanie's Adventures. Yes, thank you for joining us for episode two of our uh, Tomb Kings and Bretonians campaign, where we're going to finish off the last vestiges of Tic-Tac-Toe's army. So we're going to do the battle here at the Juac Oasis. <sighs> Cannot wait. Yeah! <laughs> our artillery heavy army is going to come in handy with the siege here. Seen them a slightly a smaller army than us. They do have that second army down below of 713 troops that they don't show you the pictures for. Oh, dang. <laughs> I think we'll still be okay. <laughs> we got two armies coming in. Ooh, a city. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's like an Aztec city. <laughs> yeah, check this out. Creative Assembly did an excellent job bringing this game to life. You see the little floating pyramid in the background? And you can hold... Uh, yes, I do, yeah. You can hold down the middle bounce button, and it can adjust the direction that you're looking with the camera. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Alright, let us get this underway. Where is our reinforcement army? There we go. That side. Ooh, this is nice. Okay, so over here is super exploitable. In the next game, and when they launch uh, Warhammer Total War 3, they're going to be redoing the sieges, thank god. That's probably the weakest part of this game. And some of them are really exploitable like this. Mm. This is awesome. Yeah. This is your first time actually seeing a siege battle, isn't it? It is. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> you're in for some fun. Oh, I so excited. <laughs> yeah, and I'll put the special stalkers there. I will give you the war kitty, and we'll get. Why? Thank you. Oh, I almost forgot about the hero squad. All right, and we got this underway. Hey, where'd you guys go? Everything's up to the left. You can double click on your units to uh, see where they are. Uh, that's right. Oh, oh, oh! We're being hit by. Storm the, um, uh, patience. <laughs> All things in their own time. Yeah, start moving up. So maybe start moving up to like right around there. That's where I'll be all right. advancing all our units. You got it. And if you double click, you could run. All right, bring in the shop T. <laughs> Look at this. This is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> And I do. Oh, well, they did not have on defensive mode. Now oh, they are. Whew. Yeah, I'll just keep nuking them while we consolidate our forces here, and I'll have them just eat the shots from the tower. Towers like to always go for the first unit, or the closest unit. Uh, cavalry can just stay out. Archers. Yeah, I guess you can move in. Woo! <laughs> yeah, we're pounding them good. Yeah, they're dwindling. Whoever thought of this at Creative Assembly gets a medal. <laughs> this ar I'm looking in on the Casket of Souls. It's like this little Ark of the Covenant thingy that just opens itself up and shoots out spirits. <laughs> it's unbelievably awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it's a really cool unit design. All right. Tomb Guard chilling there. What do I have up here? Chariots. Okay, I'll just have a little group that I'll put over here of things that I just don't need this battle. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll breach in there pretty soon. We won't tease it too hard. We want a fun fight. <laughs> Actually, start blowing down this gate with the war kitty. This one that the arrow goes to. Woo! Oh, it'd be my pleasure. I'll send in the hero squad with you. And I'll bring in some, uh... Bring in two units of you, Shop T. And we'll bring in uh, some infantry to back him up. And we get this going proper. Oh, Tic-Tac-Toe himself is here! <laughs> oh, who is? Oh, Tic-Tac-Toe. He's the legendary lord for the Greenskins. What is this? Okay. Uh, if only we had some flyers, I could just take care of that. And we do have all these Nehekara warriors. I guess they could open up a different front towards the middle.
And I'll give them three of these shop tea. So that way they can actually win some fights. <laughs> Thanks, Thank Cody. You are down here. Welcome. Yeah. Here, I'll take a picture of this for the thumbnail. <laughs> it's a cool image. Oh yeah, the cask has the souls and the catapults are doing work. Um <laughs> Here you go the skeletons with their shields. <laughs> yep, yep. Oh, that's that's a pretty healthy unit. <laughs> Let's fix that problem. Ooh, ooh. These are nice targets up here too. Oh, there's skinks though. Yeah, back when I played Warhammer Fantasy, Timmy's army was actually at least lizardmen, and they're pretty nasty. Oh, you guys have stopped. How's that gate? Uh, that's not dead yet. Yeah, okay. I guess uh, we're going through. <laughs> Forward, man. Oh, I should probably cut out the catapult from nuking our own team. And what is going on over here? Is that a catapult crew in melee? What did I do wrong? <laughs> oh no, how'd this happen? Where's the other catapult crew? Oh, it's probably just the, the angles. But they should have some excellent lines in on those type of things, though. Yeah, where's the missing catapult? Huh. Alright, so the fight is going well. <laughs> We're crushing it pretty good. Yeah. Ooh. Well, I have all this magic, so I might as well use some of it. Where is Cetra? Bust out a Vortex spell on those. And also bust out his little ability. <laughs> little Santa. Ooh, that hit hard. <laughs> you shop tees have always been my favorite unit in the Tomb King roster. I just thought they were so neat. They're awesome. They, that's when they make melee attacks. Where is t Oh, Tic Tac Toe is uh, attacking our guys in the back here. I should have some halberdiers. I just use shop tea. Okay. We'll bring in Cetra. We'll pump him up. Give him some more damage. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's get some shots in on them. <laughs> the main fight here is going very well. I guess we can start. Quite time to start walking in skeletons. Huh. Oh. You guys did excellent work with that. Alright, our flanking force flew through the gate faster than I anticipated. <laughs> That's good. How are things going with you? Oh, very well. <laughs> good, good, good. It's fresh in these guys. Nice. Where's Tic Tac Toe? Oh, he's still. Oh, there he is. No, yeah, there he is. Try to get everything on him. Yeah, we're running them down good. You know, if I would have moved in the chariots a little closer, those would have been nice to bring in about now. What do I see? <laughs> yeah, these are going very nicely. Okay, uh, is Tic Tac Toe dead yet? No, there he is. Okay, there he is. Oh, I think he's like a, he's pretty close to unbreakable with his high morale. Come on, let's. We got you. Oh yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Almost got you. Can I see his HP? He's at. Yeah, got him. And whenever you kill a legendary lord in battle, you get your 
all the lords, I think, participating in the battle will get a special buff to their stats. Uh, nice. And it's usually thematic, so it'll have something to do with the lord that you killed. There we go, everything's going very nicely. Um, you know what? We'll move this army over here. I will just have them run on. Fight their way around towards the middle. Where's our artillery? Oh, they do have Proxagors! <laughs> you don't like these guys when you see them. They're pretty mean. We'll, we'll put some halberdiers up front just to minimize our losses. Oh, where are you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> keep crushing them. Yeah, and if you double click, you can move at double speed. To keep that in mind. Yeah, they're starting to... Thank you. Yeah, you see the red bar ab above the units, of the enemy units, that's their HP. And the gray bar beneath that, that is their morale. So when the gray bar starts getting low, that's when they're getting close to running. And when it depletes, doesn't, then they start. I see. Yeah. Alright, what do we got? We're all poised to invade here. Oh, I wouldn't want to put these Nekakara warriors against Croxagors. That would be a rough fight. Leave these guys in though. Alright, our main army is starting to make its way through the city. And if you keep chasing. Go, you go, 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 go. <laughs> yeah, keep it up. Go play with all these enemies. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Yeah, this guy's just chilling back there. We do have a catapult. Uh, it's probably not even worth using. They have two units of Croxagores, and they have some... These, there's these little reptile, kind of like frog-like people. They're called stinks. And they have them riding on these uh, pterodons, which are like... What are the dinosaurs that have wings? Um, pterodactyls. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, they ride pterodactyls. <laughs> Thank you, honey. You're welcome. Uh, there's a couple different types of dinosaurs that have wings. I'm glad you got the right one. The popular ones. <laughs> These guys got a little beaten up. And where... Oh, where am I? And I'll send in the general. I'll speed things up here a little. Oh. They're coming in the fight. Okay. You shop to your first Croxagore match going on here. <laughs> Giant mummies versus giant alligators. <laughs> the alligators would win if it was a fair fight. It's awesome. But Cetra does not fight fair. Or is he? Oh, oh, actually, we're, we're coming in this way. Yeah, we'll start shooting at them. Oh, huh. Wonder what you guys are doing. Softening up those guys seems nice. Uh, what do we got? Pterodactyl's coming in. We have a Tomb Prince. Okay, you can bodyguard them pretty good. Cetra will do his little buffs. Ooh, yeah, they're gonna hit hard. Yeah, those Croxagores are really mean. <laughs> they're really mean in it. Yeah. Alright, well, tic-tac-toe has been dealt with. And since it's a city battle, you don't have to finish them off. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Yeah, have fun. Oh, yes. Oh, those cast of souls <laughs> really did work. Oh, your, uh, your, uh, Chimerian War Sphinx was excellent, too. It's right up there. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you see those kills? 191. Whoa. And... Lizardmen, too. They're a quality army. They have really beefy infantry. <laughs> yeah, they're so fucked. <laughs> yeah. Alright, yeah, we hardly took any losses. That went... <laughs> we only lost 48. Whoa, that went better than I thought it did. Uh, and we'll take your building. And your jars. And 
Defeating Tic Tac Go gives you campaign movement, range plus 10%, and line of sight plus 10%. Those are excellent buffs. Well, that's it for now. So next time we get an interesting battle, we'll uh, update you on our progress. This last episode, we really just finished off Studenberg, and now we've completed the province of the southern desert of Araby. If you like our content, please leave a like and su consider subscribing to our channel. Have a great day. Peace. Peace.